Joining me right now to discuss Equifax and take a look here at what the markets are doing right now, we have with us Bell Point Chief Strategist Dave Nelson and Shuravest Wealth Management CEO Robert Luna. Good to see you both. David, I, I don't see how this company continues on. I don't see how this guy keeps his $18 million parachute. I don't see how we don't really start to require a whole lot more from these companies that are, I disagree with Jerry, we are their customers, and they're <laughs> supposed to safeguard our information. They get their paws on it. It is their responsibility to keep it safe. Uh, look, it's pretty clear uh, what we're witnessing today is, is kind of a public hanging, and we have to have one of these uh, every now and then. Uh, but this is pretty common for corporate America. When you have an egregious act like this, you come before Congress, you resign, you fall on your sword, but shed no tears because, yes, he will walk away with many millions mm. of dollars, and he will, I doubt very much come there'll be on. what I mean, we can do to, you know, claw is, that back. This is a big deal, 145.5 million people, Robert. You know, we have all, I guarantee you all, and if you're watching at home right now, you've probably had your information compromised too. And then not only did you have it compromised, but then you went on the website to try and fix it. And then it was a phony site on top of that. I mean, Robert, they can't get it together. And this is serious because we're living in a day and age where our entire financial portfolios are online. That's exactly it. I mean, there's so much trust that's been placed in this company, Trish, that's been completely violated. And, you know, uh, I think one of the Congress people spoke about the smell test, and that's really the issue here with this. Mm -hmm. When you have the CFO unloading a million dollars a share at over $145 ah. uh, two days before investors have to sell at a 20 percent lower, that, to me, just sounds, you know, a little bit strange to me. So I think uh, there's going to be some More than strange. There. I think that could actually be insider trading. I mean, how could this, how could someone at that senior level not know what was going on, not know that there was a security breach, not know that they were vulnerable, and then he's out selling shares in the company ahead of that news, descending on the public? Something is very messed up here. And, uh, David, I, I think they're all going to have to start to be more proactive about protecting information. When I say they all, not just the credit bureaus, I'm also talking about the banks, anybody who has the goods on us. I think you're bringing up a great point. And I, there was actually one bright spot in, in the testimony today. He actually talked about giving a, a tool to uh, consumers or Americans in this case, the ability to shut down your credit file. And for the bottom line here is that it's really too late for us. I'm a customer of Equifax. My data is probably out there. And most of us are not going to be able to change our social security numbers, but we're going to have to come to some kind of standards in cybersecurity. If you possess customer sensitive customer information, there's going to have, have to be very, you know, at least minimums in cybersecurity and standards that we meet across uh, across America. All right. Well, we will leave it there. We do need more security and we do need better standards. And uh, perhaps Equifax will turn out to be the example. He shouldn't be keeping that 18 million bucks. Robert, Dave, thank you very much.